Now, let us discuss few examples on the basis of the recurring deposit uh, account. Now, there is a question given that Saloni deposited Rs. 150 per month in a bank for 8 months under recurring deposit scheme. What will be the majority value of his deposit if the rate of interest is 8% per annum? This question came in 2007. Now, before starting the question or the solution of the question, let us think about what are the data that is given to you. Now, I am underlining the data. The first data that is given is rupees 150 per month. The second data is given that is 8 month. The third thing that is given is 8% per annum. And fourth one is your maturity value. Now, in the previous lecture, you have already understood how to calculate interest. But I haven't discussed anything about maturity value. Now, what does the word maturity value mean? Let us understand that. Now, whenever we are giving some uh, uh, principle, we are depositing some money in the bank and we are getting some interest. If we add that, like principal whatever we have deposited plus the interest, we already know from the basic concept that we say this to be the amount. When we studied in compound interest or when we studied in uh, simple interest, we already know that principal plus interest is amount. This amount that you are getting in your hand is called the maturity value. So this is basically your maturity value. So whenever the question comes of maturity value, you just need to find out the amount. But for finding out the amount, first thing you need to remember is your interest. You need to find out interest, we need to add that interest with the principal, then we will get the maturity value. Now, first thing, how to calculate interest? For that, let us write the data. So, your principal is rupees 150. Your time, that is N, is 8 months. And your rate of interest is 8% per annum, 8% per annum. So let us calculate the interest first. We know the formula interest is P or let me write the formula first. P into rate of interest into N, N plus 1 divided by 100 into 12 into 2. So we know the interest, so we know the principal that is 150. We know the rate that is 8%, we know the time, that is 8, 8 plus 1, divided by 100 into 12 into 2. If we add this value 8 plus 1, we will give you 9, so it is basically coming 150 into 8 into 8 into 9, divided by 100 into 12 into 2. Let us cancel this, we are getting 4, we will cancel this, we are getting 3, we will cancel this, we are getting 3 over here. This can be cancelled by 50, we will get 2 over here, we will get 3 over here. Let us cancel this also, we are getting 4 basically over here. Now if we multiply the numerators, we are getting 3, 4 and 3. So 3 into 4 is 12, 12 into 3 will give you 36. This is the total interest that you will get at the end of 8 months. But we don't require interest, we require the amount or basically the maturity value. Now, whenever we are calculating the amount, remember one thing. We are depositing this money for each and every month. So we are basically depositing this money for 8 months. So total amount, a total principal that we have deposited is 150 into the number of months. So in the place of principal, in the place of principal, the amount that you have deposited into the number of months will be there. Why the number of months? Because you have deposited it for 8 months. So basically you have deposited in the bank 1200 rupees. 150 into 8, 8 is 1200. Plus the interest that is your 36. So we are getting 1200 
plus 36 which will give you 1, 2, 3, 6. This is your answer. I hope this solution is clear to you.